hey guys welcome to Nicole's productions and welcome to my latest video here and in this video I'll basically be showing you how to go ahead and install uh, Android 4.3 on your uh, Nexus 4 uh, as you know Android uh, 4.3 was just uh, leaked leaked out yesterday from a system dump uh, and uh, uh, there has already been a uh, flashable zip made for it so this is probably the easiest way you can go ahead and install this on your device if you want to so uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to do the same so basically uh, to install Android 4.3 what you first uh, going to need is uh, a recovery uh, which can be a clock mod recovery or TWRP recovery or any recovery which allows you to install zip files and uh, in this case I'll be using uh, clockwork mod recovery to install it but you can always use any other recovery uh, that allows you to install zip files um, so the first thing that you'd want to do is go ahead and download the flashable zip file since that is the easiest way to install it uh, so I'll leave the link in the description below go ahead and check out that link uh, it should be uh, it'll have an ad in the first five seconds go ahead and skip the ad uh, just wait for five seconds uh, hit the skip ad button on the top right corner and it should take you to the Google uh, developer download page and uh, from there you can go ahead and download the flashable zip file uh, and uh, that is the file that you're going to be using to flash the uh, Android 4.3 on your Nexus 4 with so uh, let me just go ahead and show you that uh, as you can see here what I have running is paranoid Android let me just go ahead and show you my bot phone so here you can see Paranoid Android version 3.65 I'm running the latest Paranoid Android version and uh, I'm running it with Franco Kernel a Milestone 3 there you can see uh, the details of my what I'm running Paranoid Android version 3.65 with Franco Kernel Milestone 3 uh, so that is that so uh, I'll be installing Android 4.3 today on the video so first thing what you're going to need to do is go ahead and place the zip file uh, onto the root or any directory on your internal storage so let me just go ahead and show you that so yes file explorer and I have gone ahead and placed it on a, onto a directory on my uh, internal storage it should be in ROMs and here yeah, there are several ROMs but uh, the one which you're looking for is uh, Mako uh, 4.3 rooted and this is a pre-rooted uh, pre-rooted uh, ROM so you don't need to go ahead and root it as well so there you can see uh, Mako 4.3 rooted uh, so that's the zip file that you're going to need to place on either onto a root or any directory on your SD card I recommend placing it on root since it's easier to navigate to using clockwork mode or any other recovery but just go ahead and place it on to uh, any directory on your uh, SD card and then we're ready to flash so now what you want to do is go ahead and uh, reboot into any uh, whichever recovery you have installed for me it's CWM uh, or clockwork mod recovery so what I do is hold down the power down button and the power button at the same time and just keep them held your phone uh, should go off and after that just release the power button and press it down again again for five seconds and it should uh, boot you into fast boot or uh, the bootloader mode uh, if I'm right yeah this is the bootloader mode and now what you want to do is go ahead and navigate using your volume up and down keys until you uh, see recovery mode here and to make the selection go ahead and hit the power button so once you hit that it will reboot again and it should boot you into recovery mode and once it's booted here I have uh, fills touch recovery uh, or CWM fills touch uh, touch recovery or CWM touch recovery installed uh, so I'm going to use that you can use it with CWM or TWRP or whichever recovery you have installed uh, and now uh, the first thing that you'd want to do is go ahead and wipe your device uh, and clear the cache and clear the Dalva cache uh, so let me just go ahead and do that on camera for you guys so first thing first uh, wipe data and factory set okay uh, it will give it gives me the option to wipe data and factory set or to clean to install a new ROM I'll just wipe it cleanly anyway so hit wipe and it asks me to confirm this so I'll go ahead and confirm this and now it is wiping there wiping data and formatting data and cache once this is done uh, what you want to do is go ahead and wipe the cache just to be sure cache partition 
and wipe cache confirm that as well and it should wipe your cache partition as well once that is done go ahead and go into advanced and wipe dalvik cache as well and once that's done uh, uh, we are ready to go ahead and install the zip file so uh, uh, if your recovery is different just uh, make sure you know how to do this on your recovery and uh, after that you can go ahead and install it so now let's go ahead to the install sh installation part go ahead and select install zip and uh, let me just select that and we're going to hit choose zip from SD card since we have already placed the flashable zip on our SD card and now you want to go ahead and navigate to wherever you placed your uh, flashable zip file for me I placed it in a folder called ROMs kernels and apps so I'll select that and then I'll navigate to ROMs and then you want to select your Mako 4.3 dash rooted dash signed on zip since this is the flashable zip file so go ahead and select that and go ahead and confirm the same and it should go ahead and start installing and just give it a couple of minutes to complete the installation and it should be done So I will wait for it until it's done and I'll be back. Okay, it, ha it has finished uh, the installation and to show you what it says, it's there it should say something like uh, flashing boot image and install from SD card complete and press any key to continue. If it says that you're good to go, uh, what, you, what you'd want to do now is just go ahead and uh, navigate back through the menu and say uh, reboot system now and that's all we need to do now so I'll wait for the phone to boot up with Android 4.3 installed now so let's see the first uh, boot should take uh, relatively longer than uh, other boots so be patient with it uh, it's not stuck in a boot loop or anything if you've done it right um, so just wait for it and this is the new uh, boot animation that comes with this uh, Android 4.3 uh, so I'll wait for it to finish booting up and I'll show you a bit around on Android 4.3 and talking about Android 4.3 there isn't much uh, new that I've noticed in my time uh, playing around with the ROM um, all the improvements seem to be under the hood uh, there isn't much uh, changes uh, aesthetically or in the UI as such but uh, you can always go ahead and look uh, try that out for yourself and uh, make a judgment on that the camera interface is a bit changed uh, there are a few setting tweaks here and there but i think the main uh, tweaks are under the hood with uh, performance tweaks uh, i think there are a few performance tweaks with this build uh, and quadrant scores are significantly higher what i had experienced before so yeah um, and it should be almost done booting up by now and any second now so yeah and there you can see it has finished booting up I have sim card lock on mine so I'll just go ahead and remove that and here is your welcome screen and you can easily go ahead and run through the setup I'll do this off camera and I'll be back when I've been I have finished setting up my phone so yeah hey guys welcome back and I have finished running through the setup and setup is complete so let me just go ahead and finish everything up and here I'm greeted with the Android 4.3 for the first time so there you can see uh, the first home screens look very very identical to what they look like on Android 4.2 uh, there once again not much has changed so let me just go ahead and run into settings and show you what it's running so there you can see that it is a uh, legit Android 4.3 uh, there you can see the build number and the kernel uh, kernel version as you can see the build date as well it's uh, Thursday June the 13th 2013 so it's a pretty recent build of the kernel and uh, the build number there as well you can see that there and you can obviously go ahead and enable developer options Android 4.3 so let me just go and show you that this is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean as you can see so yeah I hope you guys uh, 
like this tutorial on how to go ahead and install Android 4.3. Uh, if you want a full review of this ROM, I'll go ahead and make that as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, that's all for this video. Thanks guys for watching this and Nicole. Peace out.